I was just thinking about you. And here you are. Must be fate. Yeah, fate's Carly having a hangover, cos I'm only covering till she gets a bum out of bed. Still, been thrown together for a reason, haven't we? So we may as well make the most of it. How about a drink tonight? No, tar. 68 pence, please. What's with the mood? Have I done something to annoy you? No. I just don't want another earful from Nick Hill. Nick Hill is an idiot. Taking the notice of him. I just don't want the stress, OK? So, no, I don't want to go for a drink with you, so stop asking, cos you're just wasting your time. Morning, Dad! It's OK. I've got everything I need this time. Sleeping bag, coffee, wet wipes. Oh, and if I need a wee... <sighs> don't you worry about me. I can live out here for as long as it takes. Doesn't bother me one bit. Hiya. I thought I was doing the school work. Well, yeah, but you were taking forever in the shower. What? What's with the suit? I, I didn't want to show you up at the adoption interview. You'd be looking all smart, so I thought I would as well. Mm. Just want to make the right impression. Go on, then. Come get ready. I'll take the kids. You're a bit keen, aren't you? I just want to help. I can't decide. Can I have some more? <laughs> Oh, nice try, Missy, but no, you can't. <laughs> One each. Right, here you go. Go and pay. Go on. The social worker's gonna like us, right? Yeah, but why wouldn't they? We're good parents. Yes, yes. Right, kids, Paddy's gonna drop you off at school. I'm gonna go and make myself look like the perfect mum. I'm really sorry, kids. You know, I'd love to take you, but we just can't afford it this year. They're all at me about that panto in Leeds. Well, you don't want to go and see that. I saw Snow White when I was your age, and it scared me so much. I didn't eat apples for years. I hate it when they give me the silent treatment. I'm sure they'll soon get over it. Well, these two older grudge, this could go on for weeks. Mm. Anyway, you haven't finished your Santa lists yet. That's your priority. If you put something like water or a knife in a plug socket, you'll be elocuted and die. Fact. I think you mean electrocuted. That's what I've put. <laughs> We've got to work on your spelling. That seemed all right to me. And just when I thought Jay couldn't stoop any lower, he finds a new way to ruin the business. Well, at least we found out in time. Yeah, but it won't stop him having another go. Yeah, and we'll be ready. Get a coffee, sir. You OK? Uh, nice not to be stuck in the house. Right. Are you coming with us? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got that hospital appointment this morning. All right, well, I'll take you once I've dropped him off. Look, Sam, you have done enough for me. I'll be fine on my own. No, I don't mind. Why don't I come with you? The factory's not the most fun place at the moment. Could do with the morning off. Go on, then. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Come on, there's no dawdling. I'm burning my shoe. You're not dealing with it in your classroom? It hurts. It hurts? <sighs> Sorry, April, come on. You can't have that. Just try and tip it out. Morning, Miss. Morning, April. Morning, Leo. Mr. Kirk? Hey, yeah. Uh, come on then. <laughs> I'll see you later, all right? Go on, quick sticks. Nice suit. What's the occasion? Um, it's the, the adoption meeting. The what? You know, me and Rona are trying to adopt. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, I had, I had no idea. Um, oh. Good luck. Thank you very much. Um. I was going to ring you today, actually. Today? I, I, I'm busy today. We can do something tomorrow, if you want. No, I don't... I don't mean that. Um... Oh... Do you know what? This is too weird. No, I... go on. What? Well... I just thought you should perhaps know that, um... I'm late. Well, I'm late. We're all late, aren't we? Busy, busy. No, you're not following me. I mean I'm late. As in... As in... Pregnant. You might be hungry, brought you some carrots and hummus. Could have brought us a bacon butter. Uh, you love this stuff, you're always trying to push it on other people. Oh, not for breakfast. Right then, let's go to the cafe. No, oh, I can't leave my dad. Did you actually sleep out here? I stayed out here, I didn't sleep. I ate camping. Wow. What's all that about? He did it, keep people out. Yeah, well, I'm sure wherever they are, they ain't gonna come back. I don't know why they did it. 
you know, trash the whole place and then just take a ring? Why didn't they take the rest of his stuff? I don't know. Well, they took a little piece of Val. It's only a ring, isn't it? Yeah, try telling him that. He's holding on to every little memory, every single thing that belonged to her. Can't let go. He needs help. Professional help. If he won't get help, you need to go and get it for him. It could be a false alarm. I mean, it probably is. I I've not done a test yet. And why are you telling me? I don't know, because Pierce is away on a conference and I didn't want to do this on my own. Right, but it will be his. It's got to be. It can't be mine, can it? Well, well, can you do a test? Can you do it now? And I'll wait here and try not to have a nervous breakdown. I haven't got one. I've got to pop out and get one at lunchtime. But, but you know, even if it's positive, you're right. It's probably Pierce's. I mean, it's got to be, right? Yeah, and obviously we all want it to be his. Not all of us. Pierce has never wanted children. Well, we need to find out, don't we? Let's meet up and we'll do it together. You don't have to do that. Well, I do. Listen, I've got to get to class, so I'll text you, OK? You go to your adoption meeting. You don't want to be late. Ho, ho, ho! What? Well, it's a bit early. I'm feeling festive now we've got the decks up. <laughs> Talk to yourself, my love. Right, I'm going to get off. No, look, don't let him drive you out. I was tired anyway. Thanks for coming with me. Dump Sam for Nicky, I'll have you. Bet he's gutted. You love interfering in my life, don't you? Is that how you get your kicks? I'm not interested in you or your sad life. Well, stop hanging around my ex. I'll hang around with who I want. Why are you so bothered, anyway? Cos you're up in my face the whole time. And while we're at it, back off Layla. I know what you think about me, and I couldn't care less. But don't take it out on her. Ah, oh, sorry to call you out, Doc. I knew we wouldn't come to the surgery. I didn't know what else to do. Does your father know I'm coming? No, no, he wouldn't have agreed to it. He's just cut himself off. He won't see or talk to anyone. He won't even let me in. Did he do this? Yeah, mad, didn't it? Sorry, not mad. That's offensive, isn't it? Look, you've got to do something. Well, I'll talk to him. I'll do an initial assessment and uh, we can go from there. Oh, you're a life saver. Uh, we'll need to talk in private. Well, you want me to go? If you don't mind. Well, it might not open the door for you. You won't open it for you either. True. Let me know what happens, will you? No jokes. We've been through this. And don't do that, like, weird smile thing that you do, cos it can make you look a little bit lights on, nobody home. You don't want me to smile? Yes, but in a natural way. Try and relax. Like you, you mean? I am super chilled. You've moved these flipping cushions about ten times as if this makes us look like better parents. <sighs> love you. I love you too. Ready? Oh, no, no, that, that's it. Don't, don't do that. Hi, Rona, Paddy. Hello, I'm Rita, your social worker. Oh, sorry. Should we get the kettle on? Mr Pollard! Mr Pollard! Mr. Pollard, it's Dr. Kavanagh from Abbott Lane Surgery. <laughs> I was just trying to defend myself. From what? Burglars. I'm assuming my son rang you. 
Did you not mention that my house had been broken into? Precious items stolen? It left me uh, somewhat raw, if I'm to be honest. He didn't go into details. He thought you might want to talk. I don't want doctor. <laughs> is to be left alone. He said you boarded yourself up in here. Well, the windows were smashed. What do you expect me to do, leave them like that? I boarded them up until they're replaced. I see. Hmm. Not wanted to be rude, Jim. Um... What do you want? See how you're feeling? I love my wife more than anything. And losing her is taking some getting used to. But, um, I'm all right. I'll, I'll get there eventually. And in my own time, without him piling on the pressure. Now, that's not too much to ask, is it? Totally on board, and she's just great with Leo. We're one big happy family, aren't we, Paddy? That's right, yeah. Well, you've got a lovely home. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's no need to be nervous. I'm going to make this as painless as possible. Well, it's a lengthy and thorough process, but we have to be sure that we place children in a safe environment, which means that I'm going to be asking a million questions. Ask whatever you need. We've nothing to hide. Actually... Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. We got them especially. Paddy, she doesn't have to have one. Look, I know this is a daunting prospect, having every single part of your life scrutinised, but we do have to be sure that you're committed. We are, aren't we, Paddy? Paddy? Yeah. Yes. Totally. We both really want this. We're very in tune, live together, work together, <laughs> run a very successful and busy veterinary practice. Not that we're too busy for children. We've always got time for Leo. And his half-sister, April, could you turn that off? Yeah, just that. Please. Well, Vanessa's covering the surgery. Can't be anything urgent. Well, it is. It's Aaron. It's my stepson-ish. He needs me. You know what he's like. I better go. Well, just text him back and uh, tell him that you're busy. Honestly, I would do if it wasn't urgent. I'm sorry, is it? Can we do this tomorrow? Well, if you think that it's something more important than this. He doesn't. No, this is important to him, to both of us. No, it, and it, it really is. It's just that Aaron's been through an awful lot and, and I've just always been there for him. Right, well, I can do tomorrow... I could do one o'clock tomorrow, but only if you can guarantee no interruptions. Yeah, you have my word and you'll have my undivided attention and I'm sorry, I'm sorry again. I should go back up there. I should, shouldn't I? Should I? No. Oh, my dad was mad at me before. He's going to flipping hate me now. Doesn't matter what he thinks, because you have done the right thing. Now, I know that you're worried, but can you please go home? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, what's happened? Did he turn you away? I had a long discussion with your father. Right, OK, what did he say? He's grieving for his wife. People deal with it in different ways. Yes, he's angry and upset, but it's to be expected. I'd be more worried if he wasn't. As far as I can see, he's not displaying any signs which are cause for concern. So that's it? Nothing you can do? I'm sorry. I've done all the system will allow. If you feel his mental state's deteriorated, then call the surgery again. He's already deteriorated. Don't know how much worse he can get. You shall go to the Panto Cinders. What? <laughs> I was getting them for me and Arthur, and I thought, it doesn't seem fair that you can't go. Oh, no, I've explained to the kids. No, they're not bothered. I saw their faces, and yours. Let me do this. The payphone, I can't take them back. Besides, besides, Arthur, I'll have a much better time with the twins, then. <sighs> it's really kind of you. No, I can't let you do it. Look, you're the one doing me a favour, allowing me to be a good Christian at this holy time of the year. 
Oh, go on, if you put it like that. <laughs> Call it an early Christmas present for both of us. And it's the least I can do, given the favour you're doing for me. I know it's not fair to ask you to keep my secret. But you needed somebody to talk to, and I'm glad that I can be there for you. But I'm sure that when the time comes, Harriet will be just as understanding. Perhaps. But I'm not ready to find out. Not yet, anyway. Well, she won't hear from me. Thanks. No, thank you. Twins are going to be over the moon. <laughs> well, the doctor did seem to think he was rational. The doctor spoke to him for about five minutes. You can't make a proper diagnosis after that. Yeah, but he knows, you know, what signs to look for. Oh. All right. What do you want? I, uh, I came to see you to apologise. I had a go at you, and I shouldn't have. If you, you want to waste your life on my brother, who, by the way, you know, he's not as rich as he's making out, just so you know, then it's, it's up to you. Wow. You call that an apology? Don't you dare come in here and have another go at me. And FYI, I am not a gold digger. I have got my own business. So I don't need him or his money, and I am never going to get back with him. Not that that's any of your business. <clears throat> You're right. I'll keep my nose out. Yeah, do. But I'm really glad that you're not interested. You're better than him. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm really sorry for insulting you twice. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Yeah, go on then. Last thing he needs is us arguing. I was going to drag him to the pub. Do you fancy coming? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? How's Megan doing? Yeah, she's all right, yeah. What was that favour you were doing for her before? Oh, no, that was... It was nothing much. It was... Yeah. Why are you being all cagey? I'm not. I'm off to the pub with David, so... Oh, so not doing any work today, then? Well, no, it doesn't look like it. What's he say? Takes two minutes. What will we do if it's positive? You don't have to do anything. But it might be mine. It's possible, isn't it? It's most probably Pierce's. Well, what will you do then? You said he didn't want kids. Mistakes happen, don't they? Tess, can I ask you something? Are you hoping that you're pregnant? Because I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm. I'm kind of hoping that you're not. I mean, do you want kids? I've always wanted kids. So I resigned myself to the fact that was never going to happen. And at least I get to spend all day with them, surrounded by them. I think Pierce thought it would put me off. It's like he doesn't even know me sometimes. What will you do? Well, it's not something I'm going to have to worry about. Congratulations, Paddy. You're not going to be a dad. Right. Don't tell me they turned on your application to join Mensa again. What? They're not so happy for... It doesn't matter. What's up? <sighs> Nikhil. Nikhil? He's got lasses all over him. Nikhil. I, th I thought he had some Canadian girlfriend. Well, he does, as far as I know. Yeah, well, he should go back home to her then, shouldn't Since he? Since when were you so bothered about what Nikhil does? I'm not. Oh, I can't get away from him. I need to go and see me dad. No, do it later. We're cheering you up. Bottle of that nice white, please. Since when were you two mates? Since he stopped being an idiot. So that's never then. <laughs> it's not that funny, David. Hey, do you know what we should do tonight? We should go out. Where? Some new bars in Hot and you haven't been to. Some old ones I haven't been to. And I, I don't really do bars anymore. He needs to have some fun, you know, do something normal. Like, not think about his dad for five minutes. You do know what fun is, don't you? He needs sleep, not a pub crawl. Hello, I'm here. Can you stop talking about me? Sorry. We're just trying to help. But your daddy doesn't want you there. You have to respect his wishes. Give him space and I'm sure he'll start to miss you again. Tried that, didn't work. But there is one thing that I can do to help my dad, and that is to find Val's ring. 
Are we lucky? Well, where'd you even start to look? Oh, not a clue. I'll tell you what, that ring means an awful lot to him. So if I can find it, it might be a way for me to get through to him. We can't go through this again. Maybe it's the wake-up call we needed. To be more careful? No. To end it properly, once and for all. Is that what you want? We've got no choice. It's boss. I'll see you at school. Won't be the same, will it? It'll be better. Less awkward. <laughs> yeah, better for everyone. Good luck with the adoption. I really hope it works out for you. Me too. I let myself out. Next tonight, Carla and Nick have an announcement to make in Coronation Street. Then at eight, escape to Italy with Gino DiCampo. And this week, he's in Sicily's capital.